You were my first heirloom, and you served me well, Boxing Gloves. But it's time I upgrade to the Revenant Scythe. I won't miss you, unfortunately. Get ready. I'm coming for you, friend. Oh, f hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about some pretty fun stuff. For instance, the next collection event in Season 18, which is going to be Death Gods, what the heirloom is going to be, along with some buffs and nerfs, along with some that haven't been actually put out there yet. We're also going to go ahead and give out the Valkyrie Prestige skin coming up for the collection event this Tuesday. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and a winner will be announced in the giveaway video tomorrow. But without further ado, let's talk about this event. So we have a lot to cover today, and the first thing is we finally know what the first event of Season 18 is going to be. It is going to be the Res Dope B event, which is going to be titled Death Gods. Gods, which fits a lot with the resurrection, which is what the res and res dope stands for, and also fits with Revenant's theme. It will also feature the Revenant heirloom recolor for the upcoming heirloom reward, and it will be a slight rework of it. As you can see, this is the normal heirloom right here. The new one is going to be a bit of a yellow and orangish feel to it. This will actually match his upcoming launch bundle skin, as you can see here. Now, remember, this launch bundle skin is not a completed version yet, nor is it the mythic version. This is just a new legend skin, as he is going to be our season 18 legend. You can actually see in the chest, it's got that yellow and orangish vibe and that's generally going to be what the heirloom should look like at least from the last thing i can remember now there will be a number of other skins in this event you can be looking forward to thanks to hyper Mist, the epic wingman epic prowler epic vault epic horizon epic fuse epic nemesis epic ash and an epic valkyrie this event is tentatively scheduled for august 22nd things can always change with time frames but this is the latest that i heard about when you can expect it however with all of that new stuff coming season 18 is going to be going in a wild new direction with buffs and nerfs and we did get a bunch of them that I will be going over in just a minute, but there are some that we haven't actually been discussed or has been put out there. And there are three major nerfs that you guys should know about regarding legends and a weapon. One is that Ballistic and Seer will both be receiving a nerf along with the Nemesis as well. However, we don't know how the Nemesis will be nerfed at this point, but it is in schedule and plan to get one. For Ballistic's nerf right now, from what I heard, his Q will be nerfed in duration and damage. So you will not overheat for as long, nor will you get hit as hard when it auto locks onto you. For the Seer one, and this is something that we've waited for a very long time and they didn't do a good good job in the last collection event where they actually gave him a silence ability but they actually made it so that his slow rate and silence time is less effective which makes more sense because right now he is just an overpowered mess now along with that there was some discussion about a guy who participated saying that respawn is having discussions about nerfing aim assist at least on pc for controller players i don't think this will impact console but this is something for pc but i would also want to put out there that this is just a discussion that they are having right now and look to be doing in the near future i don't think that this will be ready to go in season 18 as i said they are just discussing this. They have no idea on when the aim assist is going to be done or even what changes they want to do yet, just that they want to tackle that issue. Now, of course, Oz put out a number of leaks the other day on Twitter. A lot of them you probably have seen on this channel before, as we've talked about a bunch, but we're just going to go over some of the ones that you may not have heard of. First off, he brings up that the charge rifle was annoyingly strong, so Respawn decided it needed to be stronger. And this post is a leak, and this is basically the cooler charge rifle, which we talked about. The charge rifle is not being removed, but it is being remodeled from my understanding. It's going to be basically a whole new weapon and it will function completely differently along with that oz also let us know that there will be a brand new engine upgrade to it if you watched a prior video you know that i said it was an upgrade that they're doing a lot of fixes and we are not going to be getting a brand new map for battle royale this season but it's not a brand new engine like a complete rebuild this features some new features such as a new material system for skins and scenery new types of vfx a sub tick system to reduce no regs higher fps captain optimized files r pack compression if you don't know what that means it actually means that they are trying to combat data mining so if you have a favorite data miner that basically means when this launches we might not be seeing as many skins and other things coming from data miners as it looks like they are trying to take that down along with that there is a longbow buff that we've also gone over and oz also confirmed that as well so that will be another thing that will be coming two days ago we also talked about the smg receiving fall off damage similar to the charge rifle basically making them pea shooters at distances higher than close range once again this is another confirmed leak so smgs are getting knocked down this also comes with a pistol buff as well which isn't going to feature the hammer points they've been trying to work away around making the pistols viable other than just off the drop and so that is another thing that we can be expecting he did also throw out some nostalgia things such as someone talking about when you automatically unlocked a collection event you had to pay an extra amount of money to get an heirloom which was from the season 2 iron crown collection event if you ever saw on any of his posts this post is not foreshadowing anything that means he's just remembering stuff that was in the past of the game this is not a leak anything at the bottom that said this is a leak is well you know obviously a leak but those are the big things coming for season 18 that we know of so far i will say there 
there are a lot of questions I still get about cross progression. It's in the game files you can see right here. This was found in the last collection event update. However, I will also say that no one, including myself, has heard on an actual date on when this is going to launch. I would hope it's season 18 with all the stuff they're putting in the files. But as of now, there is no date scheduled for cross progression and we'll have to wait for official confirmation on respawn for this and everything else mentioned in this video. Let me know down below, are you guys excited for the Death Gods event? What do you think about the heirloom recolor? And also don't forget to check out the second channel by my editor, Novell, right here, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.